Hi guys, just passing some time in a taxi. I thought a really good video on coagulation disorder. Someone asked me about this when we do some AKT practice yesterday. Now, if you're thinking about a coagulation disorder, remember someone may be bruising or bleeding easily, for example, there are two main types to think about, inherited coagulation disorders and acquired coagulation disorders. So inherited, for example, things like hemophilia A, hemophilia B, or von Willebrand disease. These are all reasons that may be passing through, through families, for example, and if there's a family history, for example, then you'll be thinking about things like inherited condition. Remember, hemophilia A is factor eight deficiency. Hemophilia B is factor nine deficiency. These are both X-linked um, conditions. And then you have von Willebrand disease, an example, which is an autosomal dominant condition. So different forms of inherited coagulation disorders. Then you have acquired coagulation disorders. So maybe no family history, but you're looking back in past medical history, for example. So it might be things like liver disease, for example, due to a background of alcohol use that can lead to problems with coagulation and therefore bleeding and bruising. It might be things like vitamin K deficiency. So this could be presenting a newborn, it could present later in life, it could be secondary things like celiac disease, for example, or it could be things like DIC, disseminated intravascular coagulation, which can happen in the emergency setting, secondary to malignancy or sepsis, for example. So if you get questions or scenarios where people are bruising or bleeding, one of the things to think about is the potential of a coagulation disorder, and then you have two main types to think about inherited and acquired. Much more like this on our audiobook courses, our online training, and our face-to-face -face courses. Hashtag Campus Will Bus, hashtag I went with Aurora. Have a good day.